14-year-old Abaya Rukundo Bruno is a high school student in Ngoma district of the Western Province. He says he will create an application that enables Rwanda to solve certain issues, including an online shopping center in the Kinyaranda language in the near future. The challenge I believe I can solve is creating an application that is considerate of all languages, for it to be accessed in other countries and used by many people. Bruno's father, Dr. Rukundo Placid, whose specialty is in agriculture, also says that he has embraced technology to make his work more effective. He says that based on Rwanda's vision and efforts in technology, including the use of artificial intelligence, his son Bruno will do great after he finishes his school. I believe this is a very good thing because looking at all projects and various initiatives, most of them are tending towards using artificial intelligence. Kuradu Senje Martin, a researcher at the University of Rwanda as well as a professor, says that artificial intelligence is something that is of interest to the young people today and that the University of Rwanda is working hard to solve challenges such as climate change that often affects agricultural productivity. When people understand artificial intelligence technology, they are able to utilize it to guide their work. For instance, if a farmer realizes that different seasons determine the level of productivity and the weather won't favor the harvest for his produce, that will guide them in knowing that they have to irrigate. Investors in various fields of science and technology say that artificial intelligence in Rwanda has picked up and has started to yield results, especially in the service sector. Before it was chaotic without this technology, but now a passenger just needs to have a card that is loaded and that has solved the challenges we had before. Munezero Angelos, a public digitization analyst at Rwanda's Ministry of ICT and Innovation, says that by June this year, Rwanda would have developed a policy that would regulate the use of artificial intelligence. Young people in school, the teachers, and schools are encouraged to promote the use of technology to increase innovative projects that will solve challenges in the Rwandan society. The Ministry of ICT and Innovation says that this policy will be preceded by a study that will be published next month, which will show how the use of artificial intelligence technology is progressing in Rwanda. The artificial intelligence technology is currently being used in trade, transportation, road safety, agriculture and animal husbandry in the medical field and in various research studies.